Man on Negra, that's called King Kong 5. Now, back in the mid-1970s, this man outraged the good citizens of Newcastle upon time with his late-night phone-in show on Metro Radio. He's now providing late-night late <laughs> entertainment, even, on ITV. The man who needs two seats on the bus, one for himself and one for his ego, Mr James Whale. Yes, like hey, yeah, good. come on, where's <laughs> You want to appear on the show, just pack it in now, all right? I won't tell you again. <laughs> Lovely to see. Are you well? Yes! 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 It's, right. it's nice to see you've still got that touch of charm, sorry, James, sorry, sorry, sorry. after sorry. all these years. I'm not as, uh, I'm not as good as, uh, as I was because I've got flu today, but I'll try. Look, these are my questions for Oh, later. So, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, you, you're already a disruptive influence. Yeah, I'm sorry. You've only been in I'm, here about two minutes. I'm going to be good today because when you used to make my coffee for me on Radio <laughs> Time... <laughs> oh, no! Um, <laughs> I felt that I should bring something back. No, it's a joke. Yeah, I always wanted to work as a right-hand assistant to a yes-man, James, in those <laughs> days. Uh, what, what kind of mail do you get from uh, women nowadays, James? What kind of mail do I get from women nowadays? Well, what you want me to say is I get lots of photographs from women with no clothes on, which uh, actually <laughs> doesn't work. I know he wants me to say that. He asked me beforehand. Um, <laughs> Uh, That's just because he doesn't get any, doesn't you mean? know. Poor Terry. We get mail from all sorts of people. The, the, the funny thing about the program is that we get mail from people who write 15 pages. On about, what? Well, you know, we did a, we do uh, all sorts of serious subjects which get lost sometimes when you're looking at it for the wrong reasons. <laughs> um, and people pick up on little things that you do. We did something on... Uh... Well, I was going to say, your show really isn't about mail, is it? It's about phoning. So we're going to have a look at you in action now oh, on we? your TV oh. program. Uh, I see. Yeah, good. Oh, good. So that's better, yeah. Uh, why is the show put on late in London? Does anybody know that? No. Anybody know? Uh, it really gives us the horn down here, and I don't know why we don't yeah. get it you know, earlier. Sorry, it gives you the what? Gives us the horn down here. Gives you the horn? Yeah. You'll have to write to London Weekend. I'm not sure of the answer to that, but you did. You missed a brilliant video, the new one from D. Krups. It was a British TV first, never shown on TV before. Oh, no. Thank you. I'm sorry about that. Thank you, Jason. Right, Tony from Halifax in Yorkshire. Hello, Tony. Hello, hello, Jim. Yes, Tony. You fab back. Ah, oh, Tony, you've got to be quicker than that. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Come here, quick, 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 quick. Tony, you're a prize working class snivelling little git. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if anybody would like to Did finish off that? what that Tony from Halifax was saying <laughs> about James there, <laughs> then uh, there will be a competition later on. We'll be giving away the producer's car. James, you are yes. rather rude, aren't you? No, I don't think so. I think that uh, if, uh, if people uh, want to watch something that's sort of tame, banal, boring, obvious, they can watch Wogan. Um, <laughs> but if they want to watch somebody who's completely sexist, they watch uh, you. No, I don't think I'm sexist at all. In fact, I'm, I refute anybody who says that I'm sexist. Uh, uh, well, you'd have a hard time. Is, is, is more sexist than mine, I would have thought. All these girls jumping around in the studio, we don't do anything like that. We've, we've had more men naked on the programme than we ever had women. And that wasn't many. In fact, the thing we got into most hot water about was we went to a place in Manchester, your, your hometown, you know Manchester, called Clone Zone. Do you know Clone Zone? No. I don't, I think you probably do. <laughs> <laughs> Clone, Clone Zone is a place that sells all sorts of black leather and, and stuff for guys, you know, the, the peak caps and the chains and, and we had a, a dance troupe do a little routine in there and we get into a, a little bit of trouble about that. Um, but, you see, it's, it's, what, it's what the media hype things up as, you know. They sort of uh, say the programme is full of, of, of lusty lovelies, and of course it isn't. Well, well I, I mean, I've get... heard, James, you know, to be fair, that you have given up sex for religious reasons. Yes, I, I don't God think made I... you ugly. I mean, I, right. I was... <laughs> Now, stick around with us tonight, I was, James. No, 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 I won't, I, won't, uh, I won't let you get away with that. Well, I, I'm, uh, afraid. I actually, I'm afraid I you, actually you have will. given up sex, but it's for different reasons, but I'll tell you about that later. OK, right. listen with uh, very interested ears to that one, James. Now, the Pesh Mode single, World In My Eyes, has gone straight in at number 28, and the forthcoming UK tour is sold out at Wembley for three nights. Now, the boys from Basildon may be quite big here, but in America, They've got God status. They've had to be whisked, away, whisked off to safety by helicopters, and on their tour, fans have paid up to $5,000 for the ticket. Well, the word was there at the Dodger Stadium in LA to see just what it is that is wrong with the Americans. Depeche Mode are so big. It's like, you see the stadium over there? See that stadium? Filled it twice! Filled it twice. David Bowie came over, filled it one time. The Cure filled it one time. 
two times. We played the heck out of Depeche Mode. The show went on sale. Two hours, they sold 80,000 seats. Can you believe this? <laughs> These guys are God over here. I don't think I would come to Dodger Stadium for, for any other band. I would die for them. I would really die for them. Every thought, my whole day, day in and, and day out, is, is just them. It's just Depeche Mode. There'll be 56,000 people a day here to see Depeche Mode. From our point of view, it's really exciting to play to this many people in one go. And when you feel that sort of, that whole power for coming back from the audience, you know, it sort of does do things to your spine. Why are Depeche Mode so big? Their words, their rhythm, their 